Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about increasing storage on your Amazon Fire Stick. It can be done. It's very easy to do. I'm gonna share it with you right now. All right, I'm gonna get right into this. This is about adding an external storage to your Amazon Fire Stick. You can go up to a two gigabytes. You can go as little as this right here, which is a 32 gigabyte thumb drive, or you can use one of those two terabyte external drives, which is what I use on my device. I actually have a two terabyte drive on my Amazon Fire Stick, and in addition to that, I still have it connected to the ethernet, so it's got blazing fast. I know a lot of people ask me, how is it that it's so fast on your TV and so slow on mine? Well, it's all about hardwiring it right into your ethernet. It's about stability of the signal, not necessarily the speed, but the stability, and I have other videos on that, but today's video is about external hard drive storage and how you can add it to your Fire Stick. So a few things you're gonna need, so let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is an OTG adapter or cable, whatever works better for you. It depends on the drive that you're gonna plug into it. Some of those thumb drives can be pretty bulky, so something like this might not work. You might need a cable, but this is what I use right here, just because it's light, it's simple, and it doesn't dangle off the back of the TV, and this will plug right into your Fire Stick. Let me show you how I plug it in. All right, so we're gonna start with the Fire Stick. Now this is the Fire Stick that I have. This is the 4K Fire Stick. You might just have this right here. The reason I have this, it just gives me more space away from my TV where it doesn't overheat and it also gives me more access to the port on the side here. Just a little bit easier for me. Most Fire Sticks will come with this little extender right here. So I have it set up automatically like that first. So here's my Fire Stick. What you're gonna need is the OTG adapter first. Before you plug any power anything into it plug the OTG adapter in let's do that right here all right so here's your fire stick right here you're gonna take the OTG adapter and you're gonna plug it right into where you would normally plug the power okay so now this is your fire stick now the next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your external drive so in this case I've got a two terabyte drive and if you're interested in a terabyte drive two terabyte drive I will put this in the description section of this video it works really really good with this the beautiful thing about this one is if you plug this into your TV it'll prompt you do you want to format at fat 32 which is what you have to do to be able to use it okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cord that comes with it and you're just gonna plug it right in to your OTG adapter and that's it now what do you do with the power cord? Well, you plug your power cord right into the top here. Now what I do, and what this is completely optional because I like my Fire Stick to run as fast as possible, especially when I'm doing demos like this on my YouTube channel, I like to have this right here. Now what is this right here? This is a Ethernet adapter. Ethernet adapter just allows you to plug your Wi-Fi directly in right there. So I have my Ethernet adapter hooked up here as well. Now guys, this is more of an advanced video. So if you're new to Fire Sticks, this might not be something you wanna get involved in. I'm gonna make it seem very, very easy and it really isn't hard, but it is more considered more of an advanced video, okay? But just follow along the video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. Now that you've plugged this in, again, this is optional. If you don't have this, you're gonna plug the power cord right into the top of the the OTG cable right here but if you have one of these you need to plug it into this so you're gonna go ahead and just plug it into the port right there now you've got all this stuff hanging here and then you've got your Ethernet cord this is what's gonna plug into your modem and then you're gonna just plug it right in just like that directly into your modem and now you have a beast of a fire stick right here. You've got a two terabyte fire, fire stick, direct link to your ethernet. It's gonna run blazing fast. I mean, it's gonna be the best fire stick you're ever gonna see. Not only that, it's gonna have a lot of storage, so you can put all kinds of stuff. If you wanna download stuff, now you have the capability to do that. If you wanna run your apps off of this two terabyte drive, you can do it. There are gonna be some steps you need to do, and again, that's more of an advanced video. I do have that video coming very soon on how to run apps directly from your device, but it's gonna take a little bit more work and a longer video, so make sure you stay tuned for that if that's something you wanna do. But if you just wanna transfer those files, files, say movies or whatever, on this video I'm gonna show how I transferred a movie directly to this and pulled that space right off my Fire Stick and directly onto the external 
terabyte drive, two terabyte drive. So hopefully this wasn't too confusing for you. I'm gonna do a close up of it really fast and then we're gonna get into the video. All right, now for the fun stuff. Now I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed with what equipment that you need. It's very inexpensive. The ethernet adapter I believe is under $15. OTG, you can get two little OTG adapters for less than $10. So it's really not very much to do this. In fact, you can get a little thumb drive now for seven or eight dollars on Amazon. If you want the two terabyte drive, it gets a little more expensive, but you can do all of this for very inexpensive. So I don't want you to be overwhelmed and it's actually a pretty easy process. I'm here to help you. If you want additional help, if you need a private video, we do have our Patreon account. It is completely optional. We do do drawings on Patreon as well for free products. We give away products all the time on that channel. So if you're interested in supporting our channel and need additional help, that's what Patreon is for. I'll put the link right down here where you can join Patreon if that's something you're interested in doing. So let's get right into the fun stuff. How do you transfer stuff over from your fire stick over to your external hard drive? It's actually not that hard, but what you're going to need is a transfer program. So ES File Explorer is the one I use. Now I'm going to actually share with you ES File Explorer, the pro version of it. It doesn't actually say pro, but it is the modded version that is completely unlocked. It's very similar to the premium that people pay $10 a month for, but you don't have to pay for it. I'm going to give that code to you right now. So what you're going to need is the downloader program and you're going to need an unlocked fire stick. So if you are brand new to the fire stick and yours is not unlocked, I'm going to really quickly go over that process. If you're already unlocked, you can skip through it if you like. But for those of you that don't have an unlocked fire stick, you do have to unlock it to add this program. Okay. This particular one, you can get the ES file manager through the Amazon app store, but it won't be unlocked and it won't be able to do the things I'm going to share with you, which is really important. How to clean up your fire stick automatically, clear those background apps, get rid of redundant and duplicate apps out there and APKs that you might have on your device and then do things like transfer them over to your device. These are all important things to do and all that can be done on ES file pro. Okay. So I'm going to share with you how to get that. Now. So let's get right into how to unlock your device right now and get the downloader app. Once you've done that, then I'm going to share with you how to get ES File Pro. If you already have ES File Manager, the free version, you will need to uninstall that first. Otherwise, you're going to get a file corrupt. Anytime you have a duplicate app trying to record on top of it, you're going to get file is corrupted. It happens all the time. People don't realize you have to delete it. So let's go ahead and unlock your device right now. Go up to the top, go over to settings. It's just two little things. All the way to settings down here, go over to your My Fire TV and you're gonna to go to developer options. You're gonna turn both of these on. ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources because this is an unknown app that you're gonna put on here, the downloader app, okay? So make sure both of those are on. Once you've done that, you can download downloader which looks just like that and all you have to do is go to the top go to the left and type in downloader just like that if i'm going too fast i apologize you can pause the video if you need to i just don't want to be redundant on slow stuff um, that's really easy to do so downloader right here go ahead and download it click on it you do have to accept permission so you do have to say yes allow if you don't say allow you won't be able to do it so make sure you say allow when you do the downloader so once you've downloaded it, we're gonna go ahead and open up the downloader and I'm gonna show you how to get ES File Explorer, the unlocked version right now. So let's go ahead and go to downloader. And, and don't forget, you do need to delete ES File Manager if you already have it on your device or it will not allow the download, okay? So what you're gonna to need to do is go over to the browser section on the left-hand column right here. And then you're gonna go over to the top here. Now, if you have it in the home section, it may or may not work depending on your Fire Stick. So better safe than sorry, go to the browser just by heading over to the left, going over browser, hitting the OK button, and you'll come up to this. All you need to do then is just move back over and up to your URL right here. And this is the one you're gonna to wanna to put in just like that. And I'll put it right below me here so it's easy for you to find. So once you've typed that in, you're gonna go ahead and go down to go, okay? Once you click go, it will start automatically the download process. All right, so here you go. It's gonna pop this up right here and you're gonna go install right down at the bottom. 
and your app is installed. If it's a little faster on mine, I do apologize. I am hardwired in, so it's pretty fast. All right, once the app's installed, you can go ahead and open it up. Let's take a look at it. Go ahead and hit open. And it's going to ask for permissions. You are going to have to agree to the permissions. So let's go all the way down here and click agree. And this is the most important. A lot of people will hit deny on this because they don't want to give access to their photos, media, and files on your device. Guys, this is a file manager program. It's going to have to have access to that. So you have to say allow. It's nothing to worry about because you all have your VPN running. I have ExpressVPN always running on mine. And I think a lot of my subscribers do as well. So go ahead and hit allow. All right, so here you go. It is plugged in. What's happening right now is it's analyzing my device right now. So I've got my OTG cable connected to my two terabyte drive right here, and I've got my internal storage, which is very, very full. So I'm gonna show you now how to clean it up a little bit. This particular program right here is a really, really good professional version, basically the premium version without having to pay the premium prices, okay? So let's move around here and take a look at what you got. So if you go down here, you've got your cleaner, you've got your movie. So let's see what's in movies. So I've got a movie down here. So I'm going to move this movie over to my external drive in just a moment. But let's look a little further. So here's where you're going to have all of your apps. So if you want to move any apps, you can do that. Accessing them is going to take a little bit more, but you certainly can do it. As you can see, I've got a lot on here. I've got so much on here, which is why this demo Fire Stick is so full. I can clean it up and I have videos on how to do that really, really quick. But I'm going to show you on here how to do it really easily. So now over here you've got images and you've got cloud drive and all kinds of stuff here. But you know what? Let's first, let's, let's do something here. Let's go to analyze. So analyze is located right over here on the right hand column below my two terabyte drive. So if I click analyze, what it's going to do is it's going to analyze my system right now. It's looking for files that I can delete. It's looking for pictures, videos, uh, apps that I that are redundant that are duplicates. Okay, so here's some duplicate files recently created and some junk files that I can clean automatically. Of course, there's the duplicates, and then it's got some large files. These are two of my largest files right here. So I'm going to move that one over, and then IPT Smarters. That takes up a lot of space. If anybody has TV Mate, you'll notice that's going to be on there as well. And this is a place where you can delete those files off of TV Mate as well. There's 50 temp files that I can get rid of, all kinds of stuff here. So let's go ahead and clean out some of our stuff right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take a movie off of your internal storage and put it onto your SD card right now. Really easy to do. You're just going to head on down to where it says movies. Now, it could be any of these for you, and you're going to go to the video. The only video I have on the, the Fire Stick right now. You're going to hold the center button down for just a couple seconds until it highlights and then you're going to go ahead and head on down here to cut. All right. Now once you've hit cut, if you notice on the left hand column here, you've got local. So that's what's highlighted right now. This is all the local. If you click that arrow right there, you're going to see the SD card right there. So if you click on SD card, this is where you're going to put it. Now you can put it wherever you want on here. I'm just going to put it on my main page. So go ahead and head on down here to the bottom and go to paste. Now it's going to go ahead and say, are you sure you want to do that? You're going to say allow and it's going to pop up right there. It's moving it for you. And there you go. Now it's on there. So now if you go over to the left here and you go back to your internal storage and then you go to movies, it's not there now. I've now freed it off of my drive and I went to 88%. I could spend a few moments and I could get that all the way down as far as I want to get it and you can too. So that's how you move it. That's how you access it. Now you could take your, your terabyte drive and you can move it, whatever movies or TV shows or whatever you download it onto a computer. You could take it to any other device you want or another Fire Stick. This is a great resource to take it from one Fire Stick to another, especially certain apps that you want. Or if you want to access movies on the road, you can put them on a little thumb drive and take it with you, plug it into your computer, iPad, uh, 
phone, whatever you want to put it on to watch it, you can now do that. I know this was a short one. I just wanted to share with you the equipment needed, how to do it all on your Amazon Fire Stick. You can really make your Fire Stick a complete beast. You can have it fast. You can have storage. You can do all the things you want with the videos on my channel. I have them here for you. Hopefully this one helped you guys out. Again, if you need additional help beyond what I've shared on this video, all you need to do is join our Patreon. Again, I'll put it right down below here and I'd be happy to do a private video for you. Again, thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you like about the video. If this is something you think you might want to do on your Amazon Fire Stick. Thanks again. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 